After the last test of the Mach 3.5 capable 500 km range Pramos system, the DRDO and its associate labs have shifted their focus on the 800 km range Pramos extended range block 4 version, that will also come with an enhanced speed of Mach 4.5. The DRDO is working to improve the second stage liquid ramjet engines to achieve the speed, and it will carry additional internal fuel for the extended range of 800 km, and officials have said that it will be tested in third quarter of 2021. 25 pre-production units of the Astra Mark II have also started assembly for the developmental trial phase, and 5 Su-30 fighters have started receiving modifications to conduct the developmental tests of the Astra Mark II and Astra IR variant in 2021. The Akash Next Generation Air Defense System has also moved from the development stage to the assembly stage, and it will also start developmental trials in 2021. The DRDO is developing a Mach 2.4 capable star supersonic missile, and this sea skimming target missile is designed to mimic an incoming supersonic missile, and will be used to test and evaluate supersonic engagement scenario, and it will be ready by the end of 2022 for demonstration trials. French officials have confirmed that four Rafale fighters of the French Air Force and A-330 refuelers will arrive in India next week, to participate in Skyro's joint combat exercise with the Rafale and Su-30 fighter jets of the Indian Air Force, that is scheduled to be conducted between 19th and 25th of January along the western border with Pakistan, which is seen as direct response to the recent China-Pakistan joint air exercise along India's western sector. The joint exercises will focus on interoperability to counter a common enemy, low flying operations over the desert, as well as maneuverability of the Rafale fighters. After leasing two Sea Guardian drones from the US, the Indian Navy has now been approved by the central government to purchase 10 naval ship-borne unmanned aerial systems under emergency procurement route for around 1,300 crore rupees through an open bid under the Bi Global category. The Saab Skelder V200 unmanned aerial vehicle is seen as the prime contender, as apart from carrying out intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance missions, it can also be used for electronic warfare, and it is to be noted, that Saab has already collaborated with the Indian firm 3F Advanced Systems for the Skelder V200. The Indian Army has started the discussions with Indian startup companies to develop handheld drones for surveillance and target acquisitions, but the rise of private sector companies in the drone sector has not been easy, as the DRDO has been working silently so that these private companies cannot enter India's drone programs, and has ensured that the fundings required for their programs are not granted. The DRDO has been developing unmanned aerial vehicle for more than the last decade, and has been blocking imports of more advanced UAVs for the Indian military, and has also tried to restrict access to test range and other facilities for the local private companies, that have shown far more promise in concepts and technologies. Oh,